everybody, this is Lollipop081 MLE here today, and welcome to another episode of Lollipop Speed Art OC Edition. So this time around, I am doing my Secrets Inside characters. Now, for those that don't know, like a little bit of the story behind the Secrets Inside series, basically it was it, it started out as a teaser trailer that my friend did back in 2013 i found it to be an interesting idea i'm like i want to do this so he was cool with it and it became a fantasy series that is um, set in the future and i did a lot of like little bit of concept ideas for this but it was like tough for this scene right this part right here so, for those that don't have not check out um, the stories on my DeviantArt, I recommend you should. It's down in the description below. And if you are already on DeviantArt, search up Lollipop 81 MLE and scroll through my gallery. It, the story shall be there. So I gave Ben and Andy a different pose here. So now we get to characters here. So I'm also doing uh I actually yeah, like look at that. Uh, like I this was the first I think one of the first piece where I pieces where I did um um multiple characters on here. Um, like, more than, like, five, I believe. Yeah, more f than five characters at a time. Because usually, like, if I was going to do more people, it's usually up to, like, at least two people. But the maximum was five. But anyways, this is Nathan Schmidt. He is our main male hero. He's a human. He's definitely human. And then, um, hold the girl he's holding is Liliana, as we all know. That's his girlfriend. And all that stuff. Right there winking. That is Sam Garcia. And that dwarf uh, guy right there. That is Jameson. One of the Woodland Fae. And yeah Sam is holding a spike uh, hammer. The kid sitting right there is Ben Schmidt. That's Nathan's younger brother. And Andy is back to back. She is also. She is uh, Lily's uh younger cousin fourth adopted cousin or whatever and then i did marina she's the water woodland fae but she's like a fairy so don't add me and all that stuff and the the spirits are gapora alpha their woodland fae alpha was a rebellious woodland fae but he redeemed himself in the second story and the girl right there the two girls right there are celine she is the owl fae and next to Celine that you saw earlier, that was uh, that was Jane Brooks. She is the other human. So basically, there's six human main human characters, and a think about six, no five woodland face. So that's eleven characters there. So this was the biggest. It took me forever. So I worked in both, and as I was working on it. I forgot to record myself coloring in, doing the coloring and shading for Andy, uh, the, the clothing for Andy, Jameson, and the coloring phase for Gipora, Alpha, Celine, and Jane. So, basically, how the story begins, like, in a summary form, without... Well, probably if you get, I'm probably going to spoil some shiz because this, <laughs> if you haven't done so, go read the story. But anyways, um, continue watching if you don't care for spoilers. So basically the whole story goes that these group of humans, that'd be Nathan, Sam, Ben, and Jane, find this key. And then they meet Lily, who was under an alias as Rose. They meet the Fae. They meet Jameson first, and then they meet Gapora and a bunch of other Fae. They also meet Marina. And then continuing onward, um, we had Angel, who was the first antagonist. Basically, he was a greedy human being that wanted the chest. And 
basically that is the premise of the first three stories uh the secrets inside 18 feet and concrete jungles it all centered around ascalon's chest and that was a chest that was created at the height of the apostolon wards and it was named after ascalon who was a woodland fey war hero who was killed by the Aeroic Fae, who are the Dark Fae. And more on that later. Yes. Um, Jameson is a ginger. He, he's an old ginger. And all that stuff. Um, basically, I try to match it up, like, to how they look and, like, how I described it. Like, yeah, Liliana is supposed to be caramel brown, but she's kind of close to, she's close to a dirty blonde. Let's get that straight. She's close to a dirty blonde and all that stuff, so it kind of makes sense right there. Um, so 18 feet, we meet a uh, Celine. We meet Alpha in the first story. He was a prisoner, and like I said, he was a rebellious Fey. He decided to go work for the heroic Fey and all that. Stuff. Oh, and right here, I originally wanted that oh the sheer that um the robe that Lily's wearing to be pink but then I changed it to turquoise because I thought turquoise was better and then I made her belt like armor like rose gold armor and what not so anyways back on to the story um Alpha was under the spell of the Aerog Fey he was working for Sethos who was the evil Lord Sethos kind of like Lord Voldemort so so the whole premise was the chest with the chest is that if you have good intentions, uh, when you touch the chest, um, it will stay with you. But if you have no good intentions at all, or selfish intentions, it will disappear. So it randomly disappeared, like three times, throughout the course of the trilogy, of the, the chest arc, and all that stuff. So, continuing in, um, Alpha and Selene die in the second story, so does Gapora, Jane becomes the only human council member of the Woodland Fae. Yeah, I know. It's my it's fantasy stuff. So so we're intro I introduced um the uh, glowing forest and the healing lake in the second story and it takes place in the summertime. The third story, Nathan and Lily have developed feelings for each other and it's now time for them to confess their feelings. Jane dies and gets killed. She gets killed by an uh Eric Fae, but um to put in a hand a premise here, since these stories were released, um, the Eric the Fey have this way like they covered up their the Eric Fey covered up their dirty deed and they well uh, they pinned the uh, murder on someone else. So it's scary, but anyways, again it is up on my Deviant Art if you want to check out the final piece once it's complete. But anyways, in the third story, the chest is uh, returned and there's a huge battle between Nathan and his friends versus Sethos and the Aeroic Fae and all that stuff. And again, Nathan and Lily get, do get together and she does get the spirit sword. That's the sword she's holding right there. So they're in the glowing forest and that's the healing lake in the background. So... As I complete, well, kind of like that past me is doing this. So I hope you enjoyed this speed painting. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe, follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, and DeviantArt. Ring the bell for notifications. And I hope to see you in the next episode, next video. Peace out, y'all.